Street and welcome to this Astromech Droid comparison review. Why not? So here we have two R4P17s. Obviously you can say that if you can read clearly. If you can read clearly, you don't need glasses. Yes, that's what they say at Specsavers, but they still sell you some because apparently it's trendy to look like you've got glasses on, which you would have if you wore them kind of thing. Right, so basically here is uh, the Revenge of the Sith version and the Saga Legends Everybody Hates series type of thing because I quite like these Saga Legends, to be fair. Yes, you're not getting as good as much for your money as you used to, blah, 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 but look at that, the irony, the buff featured Darth Vader on the packaging and I always thought it was a bit cruel really to package Darth Vader with kind of lava kind of spewing out of his collar and spewing out of his uh, sleeve kind of cuff there but you know it seems a bit I don't know like you, you kind of wouldn't well you might anyway that was kind of Morse code and uh, Morse code in saliva, whatever that language is. I'm sure somewhere, somebody somewhere speaks it fluently. <laughs> right, let's get these ripped off the packaging. Like the sounds. Hold on, get a half a high on the honey, 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 here you go. And there we go. Boom! That one just pops off quite nicely, apart from that bit of collateral damage. Oh dear, we for a little bit of carbony flap. Um, right. <laughs> it's, it's a good job the bath's made out of porcelain. <laughs> right, here he is rescued from the next room. It's R4, the Daredevil. There he is, and obviously that was rather easy to get out of the package. And this is taped in and glued in and cellar taped and stapled and welded and... All sorts of other thick blue tacked. Uh, uh, Velcro, did I see a Velcro? We'll see a Velcro. Uh, what else is adhesive? What else does adhesive? Adhesive for the quality. I'd like to think of the names. Comes off. Oh, look, look at that. All that way. <laughs> and I get to the bit that's stuck on the cardboard. And it rips the flipping plastic when I do it. So. There we go. So we'll see if this R4, if I can get him as far as that other far, 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 far. See if I can get this R4 farther than the other R4. <laughs> That's the, I speck and I cap a top of caca. Is there any jobs going for episode 7 or episode 8 or episode 9 for just random soundy people? I wouldn't mind auditioning for them. I'll put this in as me auditioning tape. I'd like to audition, please. <laughs> oh. <laughs> A smushed lens, right? And comes with. Uh, pretty sure that me talking with plastic isn't possibly the most aesthetically aesthetically thing to hear, but it comes with a part of the Death Star. I will one day make up that Death Star when I have another 5,000 of those. And here they are, so standing side by side. Oh, look. Oh, he's a little, he's only small now, look. We'll zoom in, get him closer. Good, I'm using a, a, an FX24 as a camera stand, so there you go. So you can see he's a bit more tanned here. Look, he has a kind of a more earthy look, and this one's all clean. This one has a middle leg. And apparently on the packet, it, it trumpets. But it has rolling action feature now. Maybe maybe it's because he's on a curtain that doesn't quite really roll very well. Maybe on laminate or glass. Or in fact, tell you what, it's a bit like glass. Plastic. There we go. We'll make him do a little... Whee! <laughs> Let's see that again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was, that's quite fun, actually. Could do that all night. Whee! Oh, it wasn't quite as good. Let's try and get him to do a jump. Oh, I do a jump. Right, hold on. We'll make him do a makeshift jump. Hey, there we go. The budget. Right, so his head turns and clicks. Like a seagull does. And you can push his middle leg, I think. Arr, can you push it inside of himself? It would make sense if you could. Maybe you can. I'm just... Yes, you can. 
it just doesn't sound very comfortable. It doesn't quite pop. Oh, hello. Technical issues. <laughs> Did you? <sighs> I've lost the plot. You can tell it's been a while since I've done a video, can't you? Just a little bit. Yes, so his, his middle leg does pop inside of him there, although it does slightly show a little bit like, I don't know, I guess a belly button that hasn't been very well removed. <laughs> Is that what the technical term of removing a belly button is called? I don't know. Now this one, unfortunately, has no click to the neck. Uh, well, not that it has a neck. It's more of a waist, isn't it? Uh, and that is it. And he <laughs> can do that. And he has the, the sort of the impression of wheels, but no wheels. And I do quite like the fact that he is very reminiscent to the original sort of, I'm going to say, G1 vintage kind of r2s and stuff where they just had the two legs but i would have loved a little hole that would have been lovely so unfortunately this guy's never going to get a marble stuck inside of him he'll never know the experience of having a marble stuck inside of himself there was that one time in our man when i lost my middle leg and i had to walk like this clunk Zip. Zip. Uh. clunk so, there again, that's your comparison. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more other stuff, and I'll catch you all in a bit. Ta-da!